For more than two decades, the Chevrolet 5.3L V8 has been one of the most widely used truck and SUV engines in North America. Found in millions of vehicles from half-ton pickups to full-size SUVs, it built its reputation on smooth power delivery, respectable fuel economy for a V8, and long-term durability. Yet in recent years, that reputation has been tested. Owners, technicians, and engineers have increasingly pointed to recurring mechanical failures that, if left unaddressed, can lead to catastrophic engine damage. By 2026, however, a critical series of engineering changes has emerged that fundamentally alters the long-term outlook of the 5.30 V8. This is not a cosmetic refresh or a marketing tweak. It is a structural, mechanical fix that directly targets the root causes of failure and, according to powertrain experts, may finally future-proof one of GM's most important engines. This video breaks down what was going wrong, why earlier updates were not enough, and how the 2026 fix reshapes the reliability story of the Chevy 5.3L V8. Why the 5.3L V8 faced a reliability crisis. The modern 5.3L V8, part of the Ecotec 3 family, evolved dramatically from the simpler Gen 3 and Gen 4 small blocks. With the push for higher efficiency and emissions compliance, GM added advanced systems such as Active Fuel Management AFM, and later Dynamic Fuel Management DFM. These technologies allowed the engine to deactivate cylinders during light load driving, reducing fuel consumption. On paper, the system was brilliant. In practice, it introduced a weak link into an otherwise robust architecture. The lifter failure problem at the center of the reliability debate was the valve train, specifically the AFM and DFM lifters. These specialized hydraulic lifters rely on internal locking pins and oil pressure to switch between active and deactivated modes. Over time, several issues emerged. Oil pressure instability caused lifters to partially collapse. Contaminated oil flow accelerated internal wear. Heat cycling weakened lifter components, especially in high load or towing scenarios. When a lifter failed, it often took the camshaft with it. Metal debris circulated through the engine, damaging bearings and oil passages. In many cases, the result was full engine replacement rather than repair. Powertrain teardown specialists frequently described these engines as mechanically sound everywhere except the lifters, which made the failures particularly frustrating. Why earlier fixes fell short before 2026, GM introduced incremental updates intended to reduce failure rates. These included revised oil deflectors, updated lifter part numbers, and software recalibrations to reduce the frequency of cylinder deactivation. While helpful, these changes treated symptoms rather than root causes. Independent engine builders and dealership master technicians noticed a pattern. Even with updated parts, the same fundamental lifter architecture remained. The engine still depended on extremely tight tolerances, flawless oil quality, and ideal driving conditions to survive long term. As one veteran GM technician put it, we saw engines fail at 40,000 miles and others go past 200,000. The difference wasn't luck, it was whether the lifter stayed perfectly happy. And that's not something owners can control. The 2026 Turning Point A System Level Fix the 2026 update is best described as a system-level redesign rather than a single upgraded component. GM engineers focused on one key question. How do we keep the 5.3 Euler V8 alive even when real-world conditions are less than perfect? The answer came in three major areas. One, a fundamentally revised lifter design. The most critical change for 2026 is a new generation lifter architecture. Unlike previous revisions that modified materials or coatings, this update rethinks how the lifter functions internally. What changed? Simplified internal locking mechanism with fewer moving parts, wider oil passages to reduce sensitivity to minor contamination, improved metallurgy to handle sustained heat and load. Engine development engineers note that the new lifter is far less dependent on ideal oil pressure at every moment. In other words, Brief pressure drops that once caused damage are now tolerated without catastrophic consequences. According to an engineer familiar with GM's validation testing, the new lifters were subjected to endurance cycles that simulated poor maintenance, heavy towing, and extended idling, conditions that previously exposed weaknesses. 
Number two, oil system stability becomes a priority. Lifter failures were never just about the lifters. Oil delivery and pressure stability played an equally important role. T oil system improvements. Revised oil pump calibration to maintain more consistent pressure at low RPM. Improved oil routing to the lifter valley, reducing pressure lag during cylinder reactivation. Enhanced filtration strategy that captures debris earlier in the oil's life cycle. Engine lubrication specialists emphasize that these changes work together. It's not about increasing oil pressure across the board, but about eliminating pressure fluctuations that stress precision components. One lubrication engineer explained it simply, most engines don't die from lack of oil. They die from inconsistent oil. 3. Smarter Cylinder Deactivation Logic Rather than eliminating cylinder deactivation entirely, GM refined how and when it operates. The 2026 control strategy is more conservative. It reduces rapid transitions between modes and avoids deactivation under borderline conditions, such as light towing, hilly terrain, or thermal stress. From an engineering perspective, this reduces mechanical shock in the valve train and limits unnecessary lifter movement, two major contributors to wear. Importantly, the system still delivers fuel efficiency gains, but not at the expense of long-term durability. Why experts believe the 2026 fix is different? The difference between the 2026 update and earlier attempts lies in validation depth. Multiple engine builders report that GM dramatically expanded durability testing, including teardown analysis after extended abuse cycles. Unlike previous generations where lifters often showed early signs of wear, the 2026 components reportedly maintain their geometry and surface finish far longer. An independent engine remanufacturer who reviewed early teardown units noted, this is the first time in years we've opened a modern 5.3 and not immediately zeroed in on the lifters as a future failure point. That statement alone carries significant weight in the rebuilding community. What this means for long-term ownership. For owners, the 2026 fix represents more than peace of mind. It reshapes maintenance expectations, reduced risk of catastrophic failure. With the primary failure mode addressed, the likelihood of sudden camshaft and lifter destruction drops dramatically. That doesn't mean the engine is indestructible, but it does mean failures are more likely to be gradual and detectable rather than sudden and terminal, more predictable longevity. Historically, the 5.3 Edo V8 could be either bulletproof or fragile, depending on conditions. The 2026 changes narrow that gap, making long-term outcomes far more consistent. Better suitability for towing and heavy use. Fleet operators and contractors, groups that previously experienced higher failure rates, stand to benefit the most. The revised oil system and conservative deactivation logic directly address high load use cases. How the 2026 fix compares to deleting AFM DFM. For years, enthusiasts turned to aftermarket AFM and DFM delete kits as a reliability solution. These kits physically removed the deactivation hardware, converting the engine to a traditional V8 layout. While effective, deletes came with trade-offs, emissions compliance issues, check engine lights, and voided warranties. The 2026 fix offers a factory-engineered alternative that retains efficiency benefits without sacrificing durability. Powertrain experts suggest that, for the first time, deleting cylinder deactivation may no longer be the default recommendation for long-term reliability. The broader impact on GM's V8 strategy. The 5.3 ILA V8 is not just another engine, it is a cornerstone of GM's truck lineup. Lessons learned here directly influence the 6.2 ILA V8 and future small block designs. Industry analysts believe the 2026 changes reflect a philosophical shift inside GM. Durability is once again taking priority over marginal efficiency gains. This matters not only for consumers, but for brand trust. Repeated lifter-related failures damage confidence in modern GM V8s. Addressing the issue head-on signals a renewed commitment to long-term ownership satisfaction. What experts still recommend? Despite the improvements, Experts agree that maintenance discipline remains essential. High quality oil with proper viscosity is still critical. Regular oil changes help preserve the revised lifters and oil passages. Monitoring for abnormal valve train noise remains good practice. The difference is that these practices now enhance longevity rather than merely delay failure.
Final verdict. Does the 2026 fix save the Chevy 5.3 Lo V8? Based on engineering changes, expert teardown analysis and early durability data, the answer appears to be yes. The 2026 fix does not rely on hope, software tricks, or minor part revisions. It addresses the core mechanical weaknesses that once put the Chevy 5.3 Eter V8 at risk of self-destruction. By stabilizing oil delivery, redesigning the lifters, and refining cylinder deactivation logic, GM has transformed a vulnerable system into a far more resilient one. For an engine that powers millions of vehicles and represents decades of V8 heritage, this fix is more than an update. It is a necessary course correction. If history judges the modern small block V8 fairly, 2026 may well be remembered as the year the 5.3 liter finally got the engineering solution it always needed.